All right, welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy VI. I am your host, Blue Mage three one nine here, and um, we got a plan to go over. So um, let's see. It's just speculation, but historical studies have proved provided a number of conflicting and frightening theories. According to one theory, humans and machines were imbued with powers drained from espers. That could explain Magitek power. Well, we can only fight Magitek enemies with Magitek weapons. It's risky, but if we have Terra speak with that Esper, it might just wake up. I wonder if that's wise. Who can say, regardless, we need Terra's help? Terra. Huh. Bob Dylan. What nonsense. You sound as if you're enjoying this. What are you, what can you even enjoy? What are you talking about? Jesus. What's that noise? Now, you could have um, basically skipped this, that whole scene right there with the, um, you know, with the paper and all that, that stuff. If you just said no to him, no to Bannon three times. Um, you know, but you saw as I got the Atlas armlet in the last one just for saying no twice. And uh, you get you don't get that scene at the table where everyone's, you know, making plans and stuff. What's going on? What happened? Empire took Figaro coming <coughs> this way. <coughs> They've found us. We haven't a moment to lose. Lock. I know. Someone has to sneak into South Figaro and slow the Empire down, right? Come on, man. This is right up your alley. Good luck. All right, all right. Get out of the way, Tara. Please wait for me. Don't let a lecherous young king who shall remain nameless near you. Edgar. <coughs> hey, Locke. Shut up. Look at that. I love that face. <laughs> oh, big brother. Are you ever going to grow up? What are we going to do? We'll escape down the Wheat River and make our way to Narsh. I want to see that Esper for myself. Right. There's a raft by the back entrance. It's a gamble, but we're fresh out of options. We're not just out of options, okay? We're fresh out of options. So, you're in danger here. Come with us to Narsh. You'll probably even gain some understanding of your own abilities. We've no time for dilly dally. <laughs> Let's make for Narsh. All right. Now, I uh, I wrote something in the last uh, in the last video uh, that I can't believe I missed, and I was actually freaking out about this. But let's go backwards. <laughs> um, uh, if you guys read the um, the little thing I wrote there, um, uh, I hope you know. I hope you guys read it. And well, if you're watching this video, just do what I'm gonna do. Okay. <laughs> Um, you probably know what happened and what I missed, even if you didn't read the thing, um, because I missed a treasure, and it's actually a relic that is kind of, you just go down, um, right, down, right, down, right, the white cape. Now, the white cape is a pretty, pretty good relic, I mean, it's okay, you really, you know, it's neither here nor there. Oh, I want Bannon in the back row, seeing as how he's the only, re he's like, if he dies, you know, during any of this next sequence, it's game over. And oh, Locke's equipment is all in our inventory. Don't get used to that type of thing because if you don't take your equipment off of certain um, certain times, you won't be able to, uh, you, the equipment will stay with that party. So anyways, um, I want everybody with goggles, okay? Everybody needs a pair of goggles. Just remove the uh, the star pendants off everyone, and um, basically this is what it's gonna look like. And uh, oh, as you can see, uh, Bannon has a Punisher. I guess that's a staff. And those that Magus hat, or Magus hat, and uh, silk robe. Those are some great items, especially at this point in the game. But it kind of sucks because we can't um, access them. That I mean, that would have really cheesed up the game if like we. I mean, not that bad. I mean, it wouldn't have, like, broke the game at all by any means. But it would have just been really nice having, like, you know, an item like that. Hey, 
The Leet River runs through some underground caverns. Oh, his dialogue changes. That's cool. I love those little touches that the programmers made. You know, like, uh, basically, you know, this it changed, so I wonder if his changed. Things changed, so, yeah, see? We'll handle things here. Please leave for, for Narsh. You don't have to say please, man. It's not like, you know, you, I, you have to convince me or anything. Oh, what do you say? Give our regards to Bannon. Well, he's right next to me, so you could just say it yourself, so I don't know. You don't have to be so weird. <clears throat> but um, let's see. Uh, one more check. Um, I don't know if I did this right. Mid uh, yeah. Um, I want Edgar with all that goodness. Okay. Uh, metal. Yeah. Is everybody... Yeah. Oh, um... Yeah, one more thing. I, I can equip that extra bandana that I had. Um, just to let you guys know, if you guys don't have the bandana, okay, um... You know, the ones that I stole from the brawlers in on Mount Colts, you know, it's not that bad. So, uh, just... You know, just, uh, use the plume tats and you'll be fine. Head toward Narsh, but protect Bannon at all costs. If Bannon is put out of commission, your journey's over. That's right, viewers. Um, if Bannon dies in battle, okay, game over. Doesn't matter if everyone else has full HP, Bannon should not die, okay? He's your, that's like the, the, the variable here. So, um, let's just, uh, get to Bannon's turn really quickly. Well... I'll, I'll use Aura Bolt, because that's a really good move. And, um, let's see. Oopsie. Yeah, he has this move called Health, right? And it basically is like a, it's like a cure, no, it's like a Cura spell, not not even a Cura spell. So, um, um, these, uh, water enemies, uh, they could be taken out with a single fire target, uh, fire, um, move. It's kind of weird how they're weak to fire being, uh, water enemies. Um, but I guess, I, I guess because, like, the normal, you know, the normal would be obviously, like, lightning or ice. Um, so, let's go straight. Um, so, yeah, we just don't have access to those um, spells. So, it kind of works. I guess fire is, or water is weak to fire. I, I just would have thought the opposite. But these guys, however, are not weak to fire. And uh, you can uh, really do some cool stuff with them. Basically, um, here, let's uh, get to Edgar and uh, use Noise Blaster. Now, this move right here is Fireball. You know, Pterodon is a great um, enemy. And we'll, don't worry, later on in the game, you'll see why he's great. Um, but uh, let's see. Um, See, you know, he was confused there, but he hit himself and he didn't wake up. Normally, you know, you hit you hit the enemy and and they wake up from confusion. But you guys probably know this. Um, he cast that was a magic a magic attack. So magic does not wake up uh, or snap somebody out of confusion. Nor does it wake people up from sleep. But I don't know it. I think there is. Yeah, sleep is not a status in this game. I, I'm I'm not sure actually. I really don't even remember. It's been about like a, a year since I played the whole game. Um, well, not even a year. I mean, like, I, I just play so many different Final Fantasies that I, I can't remember, like, if there's, you know, certain differences like that. But, yeah, so um, a physical attack will, like, a physical attack by him will uh, snap you out of confusion. But, um, you know, that's... Uh, it's not the case. He uses fire. I mean, he uses fireball or a magic uh, spell, and you won't wake up. So yeah, that's going to be very important for some bosses because, um, I mean, if there's a boss that only casts, we don't even need this, guys. I'm sorry. Um, if there's boss. Let's say there's a boss in this game, which there is, that only casts magic throughout the whole battle. If you get him to be confused somehow, he's not going to wake himself up ever. He'll just keep killing himself. And as long as you don't attack him with physical attacks, now, um, okay. Uh, if you guys want to keep circle, you know, you could, uh, you you can go up and keep circling around. Uh, it'll this will go around in a circle if you choose up. Um, but you could get some good leveling. Um, you could maybe get some good formations, um, battle formations that is. And uh, but I don't want to do that. I want to go left. We don't need to grind. No, no need for that. So. Um, 
Uh, one thing I forgot to clarify was, um, I think in the last episode I said that, um, yeah, I said that, uh, uh, what, what was it? Um, yeah, but in the last episode I said that, um, this is like the first Final Fantasy to like not have a, uh, main character sprite, you know, where you're able to, or this is the first Final Fantasy where you're not able to like, ch where you're able to like change your, um, your character sprite. But what I meant was, I guess, was that this is really, to me, I feel, the first Final Fantasy that really doesn't, um, put so much emphasis around a, si a single protagonist, you know, like, in this game, you could change your party totally, you know, and not have, like, lock in it at all. Um, you know, in like Final Fantasy IV, for instance, I don't think there there's maybe a couple times where you didn't have Cecil there. Um, uh, Final Fantasy II and one and two and three, I think you only get four characters, um, as do you in Final Fantasy V. You only get four characters. Well, you get five characters, but uh, you know, one is uh, let's see. Whoa, Squid! Is that a squid? It looks like the the Pac-Man uh, thing. One of those enemies in Pac-Man. But no, this is Ultros. And um, we want to make sure that uh, Bannon doesn't die. Because, uh, you know, he, this guy has a harsh attack called Tentacle. And right now, we need to cast help. But yeah, he has a, the, the Tentacle attack, which can um, basically not one-shot Bannon, but it could be pretty bad. You know, like you just want you want to make sure that um, Bannon's always at, always at full health. Now that's the reason right there that we have the goggles on because that ink uh, spell or command thing uh, will cast darkness on your party members. So you know you just want to make sure you got the goggles on. It really doesn't matter because we're not even going to be attacking. But you know whatever. Look at that damage. Okay, 106. So be just always have Bannon's health um, uh, spell ready to use. So, and he can also, obviously, he can also multi-target, but let's just spam Aura Bolt, Auto Crossbow, and of course, being a water enemy, he's weak to fire. So, we're good. Just keep doing that, and you'll be fine. Let's use another health, um, another health spell. The health spell, like I said, is basically like a, a, a Cura for all of, uh, for all of the whole party. I mean, it, it's a very, very good game. There we go. Nice and healthy. Use auto crossbow. Keep fire going. I like to keep uh, the health uh, spell um, ready to use. Not, I don't like to just immediately use it. And that's a, kind of a good, good thing to do. Like right now, I would want to switch over to Oracle, you know, and, and just make sure everybody's good. Muscle heads, hate them. See, there you go. Bam. Let's just keep everybody happy. I don't want everybody dying. Then every, you know, there'd be like no one would be happy. Oh, that's it. That's all, folks. There we go. Alrighty then. Guess we thrashed it. Don't bet on it. It's probably just hiding from us. Ew. Something stuck to my leg. Look at Edgar over there, man. He's like such a ladies' man. He just totally jumps on, on Terra. I don't know if you'd call him a ladies' man. He's more of just like a, a, a perverted man <laughs> but you know that 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 whole like persona kind of like dims away throughout the game he, he becomes less of a pervert throughout the game but anyways watch out I'm gonna hit him with a blitz <laughs> no Sabin don't distract me brother <laughs> I love how he calls him brother he's so like so crazy he's always been a tad zealous Sabin don't worry about him. Are you sure he's... What do you mean? <clears throat> Didn't you just say he's always been a tad zealous? <clears throat> yeah, see, even Bannon says, you should know better than any of us. Any moment now, he'll flop right on to the raft. <clears throat> what the? Okay, nothing. Seems a little too perky. What does that mean, man? Well, I guess he tried to jump up, but he... Uh... He missed the raft, or something. It didn't. It looked really weird there. So, but what really happened was that um, he just got separated from the raft, and he's jumping up 
where he's you know floating up the river <laughs> so um yeah that's what happened and here we are at the um and this is the uh choose scenario basically where we get to split up into three paths so let me just uh, but, but what about Sabin, who was swallowed by the raging waters and how is Locke faring after having penetrated the Empire's defenses in South Figaro? It's all going according to plan. Choose a scenario, Koopo. All right, I choose black. No. But anyways, if all you got to do is go up to them and talk to them. Oh, by the way, I think let's. I think you can go into the menu here and just. I think you could. No. Yeah. Let me just put him in the back row for no reason. <laughs> but um. Let's uh, stick with Bannon's scenario. Seeing as how we know, you know, we we're, f we're just now did all Bannon's stuff, and let's just try and tight, you know, finish Bannon's uh, fin finish Bannon's scenario. So, fleeing the Empire's troops, Bannon, Edgar, and Terra ride the rapids towards Narsh, but they the going won't be easy. Now, um, I want you guys to know that Bannon is still if he dies still it's game over so keep that in mind you want you want to make sure that he doesn't die so um let's uh use noise blaster on the pterodons here a uh, nice health spell will be fine fire i mean fire remember these guys aren't weak to fire but whatever now i don't know if um auto crossbow would wake these guys out of See, like that move right there, that for some reason always confused me why that doesn't wake them out of, or snap them out of confusion. Um, so, uh, let's see. Um, yeah, we just uh, just got to make sure that Bannon uh, stays healthy. Um, everything will go well as long as you do that. Because we're, we're actually almost out of this rap, these crazy rapids known as the Leap River. It's such a weird uh, name. I mean, it's not that weird. I mean, it's just spelled a little different. L E T E, but uh, I remember these guys. You guys know about it. Just either cro auto crossbow with the Atlas armlet, you know, and you'll be fine. Or just obviously the the fire spell works better. I mean, they are weak to fire, so you want to cast fire on them. Picking up some gill or GP, whatever. I, I'm I'm always gonna call it gill because you know, like. I think they should have like stuck with. I think they should have like kept it as Gil from the from the beginning. But um, this this uh, place looks a little familiar to you guys. I, I think you guys know that this is um, you know we do need to go to Narsh. So uh, this is a really dangerous enemy. I mean he can deal three damage, right? Sometimes, but um, yeah no he's not really dangerous at all. He's a bunny, and we just burned him. There's nothing wrong with that. I mean, you know, people do this type of stuff, you know, especially in video games. But yeah, this might look a little familiar to you guys because this is actually indeed Narsh. I always wondered why Narsh doesn't have like a uh, a town icon, you know, or a t like a picture, like a, a a town. But it's I guess it's built into the mountains or something. Um, but I'm gonna go ahead and end it here, guys. So. Um, Thanks for watching, and find out next time um, on Let's Play Final Fantasy VI what happens with Bannon, and uh, is Narsh safe to even go? I mean, can we even go in Narsh? I don't know, but, you know, you're going to have to wait until next time. So, um, take care, guys. See you tomorrow.